I am Isis. Greetings, beloved family. I come today to speak with you with so much love and joy in my heart. I send out my love and my embrace to each one of you, and I thank you for choosing to come and share this time as a group, as a whole. But most of all, you are choosing to share this time with yourself. So allow yourself to truly open, feeling what it is to be fully connected with yourself. So allow yourself to fully be fully conscious so that you are the human that you have created for this lifetime is fully present in this moment and fully aware of all that you choose to do. So let yourself breathe a deeper connection within. Let yourself be fully aware of who you are in this physical presence. Take a moment and let yourself once more take a breath that moves through your body and let yourself become centered, grounded and focused within yourself. Now presently, many of you are facing life-altering scenarios by which your perceptions of the world and its people are changing. This is necessarily so, for many of you are preparing to engage in a period of great solar activity. This goes hand in hand with the physical changes that maybe you are undergoing as it relates firmly to rewiring for your new life, your work and your contracts based on higher states of awareness and being. Many are preparing on atomic and subatomic levels to deploy great missions of service. These missions are designed by each of you to specifically alter the grid work and in support of the overall mission on planet Earth. For in this process the physical body is realigning with the divine blueprint that was encoded in the DNA and is now activating the next level of spiritual evolution. This next level includes active service for many, the service of the soul. So when preparing to engage in such work, the body must be finely tuned to equate to the new frequencies that the higher self is attempting to communicate with the physical self. This process is very intricately designed with many have been feeling the ramifications of such changes and we note that many of you have been undergoing extreme levels of fatigue and wish to aid you here by reminding you to listen to the call of your vessels. Your bodies are in great need of rest during this transformation and the process of rewiring is taxing. Please respond to your inner calls and you will be guided appropriately on how to best serve this very individual process. You may be revisiting old ills or even encountering new ones. Genetic predisposition is also coming to the surface, surface to be transmuted for the actualization of the perfected physical template. 
All of this is in preparation for a very active month of energetic openings and integration. Regarding the energy portals that are opening and available to you now, please resist the urge to engage the thoughts that this process is an ending. The portals serve as a motivation, a forward momentum of energy that will assist those who are aligned with the highest vibrations of unconditional love to take their personal evolution to the next level of service. Now this process is an ongoing journey to learning more and more ways to feel, experience and reflect universal light. So we wish to reiterate that you are not coming upon an end as much as you are entering into a new beginning. We wish to alert you to this fact so you remember that the journey to total and harmonic wellness is merely a part of the endless process of creation and expansion, not to live by, yet not one to pass by. Your healing process is the an intermediate step required to your unlimited potential. But this does not define you. They are only passages that you travel through and upon reaching the ultimate truth of who you are. Many along the way get trapped in this stage or that of the healing cycle and consequently get lost in the illusion of such. This is not beneficial to your outcome, for the outcome is full truth. Anything that stops short of your full success should be viewed objectively and with clarity. Any distractions holding you back from your full potential need to be eliminated to distractions and engage in this full new cycle fully. Should you release all limitation, you will find great and lasting success from the new and higher vibrations of love. Available to earth now. Those with most clarity will ride the crest of this cosmic wave to a joy filled future of synchronicity and manifestation. To know if you are holding limitation of any kind is simple to see. Look around you. Are you pleased with your results? Do you find that total health and wellness are your reality? Do you find financial and relationship success in your present life scenario? These are the indications of your presence and the amount of light you are capable of holding at any given time. Utilize the forces of light available to you to illuminate all that is not in alignment with your intentions now. Full truth means seeing clearly where you fall short as well as where you excel. Before this period of activity, be sure to balance your lines accordingly in preparation. You can prepare by tending to your health with diet, rest and exercise which will also aid in your clarity of thought. Your thoughts will aid you greatly should you be aligned with clear vision and joy. Joy is the state of constant creation. It is intermittent thought moments of bliss but more importantly it is the energy of continual 
continual alignment with Source. But more importantly, it is the energy of continual alignment with Source. Clarity is seeing the web and understanding all the pieces fit together to define you and your special aspect of creation. Realigning with the higher version of yourself will become of you on all levels in this space. Physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually, you will become attuned. This is the state of harmonic wellness. Anything out of alignment will become increasingly predominant until it is transmuted and in accordance with your higher will. Once these energies balance and you have reclaimed all fragrance of your personal power, you will catapult yourself into this cycle of activity and reward. You will see how all the dots connect and forward movement will seem effortless. You are coming out of a period of introspection and realignment. If you listen well to your inner guidance, you will be brought up and released all that is remaining as an obstacle to your true abundance. Patience is undoubtedly required during these periods when your patterns of the past have been to swim upstream. This patience, however, is soon to be rewarded and this last purging will have served you well if you paid attention. Genetic, genetic changes are forcing you into a state of immobility at times, but the end result will be a revised and purified version of yourself. This is a version of you that will take you to your intended outcomes, what some on earth call destiny. When much is being purged or released, as was the case with the solstice retrograde, the darker and denser energies move up and out. When much of these types of energies are flying around, it can create fields like depression, and it can be very sudden and intense indeed. Sadness, grief, strong desire for something that feels right and better to arrive very soon, and even feelings of panic and great loss. This is a typical ascension scenario. In the beginning years, from 2000 onward, depression was a continual epidemic because of this. Much has been transmuted and removed now. So this scenario, scenario only occurs here and there. If you are one who has been feeling depressed for quite some time, please take care of yourself and don't assume it is simply an ascension symptom. Medication may be required and a good doctor can really help. Most old souls, many that are here, experienced abuse and suffering in their younger years so they could transmute these energies for all of the planet through ourselves and a great amount of healing can be required before they can move forward but once they do many more of the beautiful and glorious experiences seem to arrive in an avalanche Ascension depression comes in intense waves and lasts briefly. It can feel merely unmanageable and it can go deep 
but you are able to experience such bliss in between. This is the difference. It is the same with panic and anxiety and waves of crying and sadness. They come and go and are not always present. It can be quite challenging to know what is really going on at times. And the ascension process mimics menopause very closely with short-term memory loss, hot flashes and night sweats, heightened emotions, abdominal weight gain, food cravings, and the inability to lose weight no matter what we do, sleeplessness and the like. Only most, most men are having these symptoms as well. This la latest round went deep. We all excavated much. It was rough. And because all of these released energies flying around, our paths can get cloudy. It is easy to see with so much in our way, the beauty of the ascension process is that as much and more gets cleared away, we are then able to really and truly see what is real. All the peripherals are gone. We do not need them anymore. So ascension is here and ready when you are and know that you are not alone. You have many spirit guides and angels waiting and willing to assist you. And of course, I, Isis, am always at your service and always with love. I thank you for being here today, listening to my words, and hopefully they've been assistance to you. And also, I thank Rosalie, my assistant, for bringing my words to you, because a lot of my words may have, may have needed assistance as they don't come sometimes as smoothly through Rosalie. So thank you once again. Namaste, my friend. Till we speak again.